Well everyone, it's time for us to go and compare the iPhone 14 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus and see which specific phone you should go and pick up. Now obviously the 14 Plus is the better one in my opinion, so if you want to pick it up, links will be down in the description. You can get it from there, you can help support the channel at the same time. Now what's funny is, I love the iPhone 7 Plus and I kind of like the 14 Plus. Side by side, there are some really, really big differences for sure. I think actually the 7 Plus is one of my favorite Plus model of phones that Apple has ever made from their whole entire Plus lineup. With the iPhone 7 Plus on the front, you're getting a 5.5 inch Retina IPS panel on the front. And I'll definitely tell you, it's not a bad display. I still think it looks pretty decent. But in this day and age, you know, we do we are lacking things like the OLED displays we have on the 14 Plus. So this isn't as good as a display on the as the, you know the 14 Plus, but it's still not that bad. It's a 60 hertz panel, which feels more like 40 hertz at this point. You have pretty big bezels on the top and bottom, which is a little bit more noticeable. And I do think this thing looks like an older iPhone. I don't think this thing looks ugly though. I think if you still use a phone like this, it's totally acceptable. But this thing compared to the 14 plus does have a little bit more bezel. You still have touch ID on the front, which I actually do like a lot, a lot more than face ID. And yeah, that pretty much still looks like an iPhone 7 plus. <laughs> With the iPhone 14 plus on the other hand, we're getting a much, much bigger 6.7 inch display. So this is a much bigger display for sure. I mean, this is a massive phone. It's a Super Retina XR OLED panel too. So it overall looks way better than the 7 Plus on the front. The display looks better. You're also getting way better, you know, you're getting a way brighter display, which is nice. And you're getting Face ID, which I guess some people prefer, but I still prefer Touch ID if I'm being honest. On top of that, you're getting the notch, which the lack of bezel here, I will take the notch all day compared to the 7 Plus. So in terms of the front, and definitely the iPhone 7 Plus looks a little bit more dated. Now, in terms of thinness and thickness, the iPhone 7 Plus is actually a wider phone than the iPhone 14 Plus. So if I kind of hold them like this, you can kind of see that the 14 Plus is a little bit more wider, or the 7 Plus is more wider, but it's a much thinner phone on the iPhone 7 Plus. So you guys can kind of tell right there that the 7 Plus is a much thinner phone than you would probably expect. And I'm surprised Apple made such thin phones at this point. Now, actually, now that I'm kind of holding them, it looks like the 14 Plus is a little bit wider now, which is very, very weird. Maybe I was holding it wrong. Now with the 7 Plus, you are getting a SIM card tray on this phone, which is really cool. With the iPhone 14 Plus, unfortunately, you are not getting a SIM card tray, which is very, very unfortunate. I wish we did get that type of capability on the 14 Plus. Unfortunately, we are not getting it, and that kind of makes me sad. So in terms of that, that kind of goes up there. Now they both have dual camera setups. What's crazy is the iPhone 7 Plus was the first iPhone to bring a dual camera setup. So that was actually a really cool thing. For this one to be the first iPhone to bring it was awesome. And it's originated since then and they've kind of flip-flopped because this one had a wide and telephoto lens. This one has a wide and ultra-wide sensor. I'll get into the cameras in a second. Now there are some really big advantages for the iPhone 14 Plus compared to the 7 Plus. You are getting wireless charging on this phone. You're getting 5G. You're getting dual eSIM technology. So you can use two SIMs or two, two eSIMs on the iPhone 14 Plus. You're getting you know, MagSafe capability here. Reverse, sorry, not reverse. Emergency SOS satellite mode, crash detection here, a glass back on the iPhone 14 Plus as well. And those are some really big things. Now, they both have IP certification, which is good, but the 14 Plus is going to be more durable. The 7 Plus, you were just getting this aluminum back. There's basically no more features built in with the iPhone 7 Plus compared to the 14 Plus. They both have lightning ports at the bottom, which is nice. And in terms of the outside, that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the software and longevity, this is the sad part. The iPhone 7 Plus pretty much got discontinued this year. So what does that mean? Well, it's still kind of supported with software if you kind of think about it, but it looks like it's not going to be getting any more versions of software anytime soon. It did not get iOS 16. So this thing is pretty much outdated. It has been discontinued for a little bit of time. I mean, it's been discontinued for years, but now since it doesn't have software anymore, it's pretty much outdated. And that's why going up to an iPhone 14 plus, I think would be perfect for a lot of iPhone 7 plus users, because you can go from this plus to this plus and still get a really big phone which, you know, still pretty pricey, but it's still a big phone that, you know, if you like the 7 Plus, you probably like this phone as well. So now let's go into a speed comparison between both of them. The iPhone 14 Plus has that Apple A615 bionic chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 7 Plus has that Apple A10 Fusion chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. Hopping out of both of these, as you can see, so let's get into it. So phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So I'm getting to music 321 and just notice the gesture based design. You are definitely getting a much faster feeling phone on something like the iPhone 14 Plus than on the iPhone 7 Plus because of the gestures. Let's do their app stores 321. Okay, again the iPhone 14 Plus is faster here. Scrolling through, let's go and see what the differences are. And like I said, even though they're both 60 hertz, the iPhone 14 Plus feels much smoother than the iPhone 7 Plus for sure. 
scrolling out. I mean, just look at how much faster it would have been on the iPhone 14 Plus had I done that right. It's going to get into news, three, two, one. Okay. Two different pop-ups on both. Let's go get into camera, three, two, one. Okay. Let's go and take a photo. It's going to open up that photo. Looks like I didn't want to open up sometimes on these type of devices. Photos, three, two, one. 14 plus was faster there. Hopping out of this one. Let's go and open up some of these third party apps. Let's stop wasting time. Genshin Impact 321. Now, this is a big game. I played this game on both, and surprisingly, the 14 plus, you know, does it really, really well, but the 7 plus still kind of handles it fairly well. And that has a lot to do with the graphic profiles you can change within these games. So, loading speeds are 100% going to be faster on the 14 plus. If you're loading in between the game, if you're, you know, loading areas within the game, cutscenes, everything like that, are going to load much faster on the 14 plus. But I will say once you're in the game, it's still actually fairly well how a lot of these developers are kind of tuning these games for some of these older devices. Facebook, 3, 2, 1. Okay. iPhone 14 plus faster. Twitter, 3, 2, 1. 14 plus again is a faster one. Netflix, 3, 2, 1. Totally messed that one up, but I would be curious if it still opens up faster on the 14. Nope. But it still would have been faster on the 14 plus probably. Hopping out of this one. Thank you, 3, 2, 1. And 14 plus was the faster one there. Hopping out of this one, let's go and get into Temple Run 2. 3, 2, 1. Now this isn't another, I mean this game is not, you know, big by any means. But it's still a pretty, you know, important game I would say. You can see the 14 plus was able to load that one up much faster. But this one did have that downloading content thing. So that's another thing to kind of keep in mind. Not a big deal, but you know, it is what it is. As you can see the 14 plus again is the faster one. So we're going to be seeing a reoccurring trend here. The 14 plus is going to be the faster one pretty much in every single way you look at it, which is totally expected. So I will tell you, like I said before, going from a 14 or a 7 plus to a 14 plus, you're definitely going to be getting a faster phone for sure. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. Now in terms of the actual cameras on the back, like I mentioned, what's very interesting is the 14 plus was, you know, the 7 plus was the first iPhone to actually bring that dual camera setup. What's funny is I just noticed this 7 is half of 14 and, you know, 7 plus 14 plus is like half the phone. I don't even know. So both can do 4K on the back, but the 14 plus can do 4K at 60 on the back and on the front, where the 7 plus cannot do 4K at 60 on the front of the back, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, I will tell you for the 7 plus's camera, it's still actually pretty remarkable. You know, it's definitely not a good camera, I would say, anymore, but I'm surprised that this phone still is holding up this well. I used to use this phone as a main device for a period of time, and this was one of my favorite iPhones I've used. Now this camera, you do have 10x zoom on the back, so you can zoom in 10x. You can only do 1x zoom, so you don't have that 0.5x zoom, but technically with the 14 plus you don't have, you only have 5x zoom on this one, so I guess that's a little bit of a feature. This was also the first iPhone to bring portrait mode, which is really cool. You have video mode, you have soul mode, but beyond that, you don't really have too many other features. It's not a limited camera, but it is definitely a limited type of experience for sure, when compared to something like the 14 plus. This type of camera is going to be better every single way. The camera sensors are bigger. It's a better camera. There's really no way the 7 Plus is better, maybe in the price per dollar standpoint. But with this one, you are only getting 5x zoom. So that is the one area the 7 Plus is better. You do not have 10x zoom. You still have 0.5x zoom, but you have video mode with action mode now, which is cool. You have cinematic mode, which is like portrait mode for video. So it's another big advantage for this type of phone. You still have slow mode and stuff, but this is definitely a way better camera than something like the iPhone 7 Plus for sure. And to be honest, this is a way better phone than the iPhone 7 Plus. I think the 7 Plus is probably more impactful. I mean, this phone was the first iPhone to bring a dual camera setup. Got rid of the headphone jack, you know, 3 gigabytes of RAM, first one to bring that. But I will say for the most part, the 14 Plus is the better phone in every single area. This thing has a better display, bigger display, better build quality, better features, wireless charging, 5G, pretty much everything you'd ever want. And it's still supported with software and it's going to be supported for many, many more years. The 7 Plus is done with software and it's and it's at its end of life. You know, it had a good you know life, I would say, but I would definitely say if you have a 7 Plus, going up to a 14 Plus wouldn't be a bad decision, but I would probably recommend going to a 13 Pro Max to be honest. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.